my 12th video lesson. Today I will talk about some fiddle tune. What do you think? Uh, they are a good vehicle to understand our fretboard and then there are a lot of good stuff, a lot of nice song. I know sometimes it's very hard because fiddle tune are made for the fiddle and the fiddle can do a lot of things, a lot of stuff with their finger. So we have to remember we have only one finger, our bar. So as you know very well, it's difficult to repeat all the, the notes that the fiddle is doing. But there is a way to go around that. We can try and see a couple of songs, maybe Sentence Reel or Arkansas Traveler. And we try to see what we can find with our dobro, which melody, the easiest way in order to, to find a, a way to play a solo. Let's try. So here we are. Let's try first uh, with the St. Hans Reel. What do you think? A lot of fiddle tune are in D, a lot of in A. This is in D, okay? So the melody, you know. think what we can do. So 7th fret is our D, okay? But we begin, I mean it's better, it's nice to begin. One way to begin is with our D open first, 2nd fret and 4th fret. Second fourth, then second, pull off, second open, third second fret, and then slide from, from fourth string from second to the fourth fret. So second part, there is this kind of stop. If you listen to the melody, okay, then repeat and to close or the D note or the second string from the second fret to the fir third. I repeat. Because also this one is our D note. D, D. You can add the B if you want to keep the melody rolling. things about this uh, beginning is that is uh, beautiful for finding and trying and rehearse our intonation because immediately the first one we should be very clear and very in tune again intonation that as I told you other two or three times is our beast You have to get used, you have to listen and um, if you use the first one and the fourth our D note, it's very useful to understand. Mm -hmm. You have to repeat, I suggest you to repeat this thing very slow and very uh, a lot of time. Try to listen carefully. Okay, 
the second part also here is beautiful sorry but I like this thing only to, to play the D chord in a soft way for me is uh, heaven from the C to the D, fifth to the seven, and then I do some roll here. Roll, it means that I, I hit all the string. Seven, fifth, four, it leads me to the A. something like that also here is very nice and useful for intonation this this lick as I told you I anchor my my hand as you can see here is uh, is not moving so I come back against this uh, my finger okay in this way I'm always in tune, hopefully. So Okay, this is a very not easy leak, but why not try it? This is the word of this year from for me. Why not? So now I don't know it, to do it in, the, in a slow way is always difficult. Okay, get it? No. Okay, repeat it. Wow. So. Begins with pull off, second fret, first string, same in the second, and the same in the fourth, uh, third string. So, and then you go to the fourth fret, fourth string. So, immediately, and then. that seems a very difficult thing but if you try and you do it a piece at the, at the time okay remember not to if you if you can not to do but to stay with the bar close to the string and to go back if you if you can this thing very slow uh, believe me that is uh, you can do it so but maybe let's try with the rhythm track so we can find something easy to play
at the end something very easy and different and simple because this is, the, this is a good example of uh, what we can try to find different in order to get around the melody, okay? I did something like that, so we don't have to get stuck with this melody. We learn one, one lick and then we keep that lick forever <laughs> because we don't know how to, to do, to find our uh, other stuff. Uh, so I did. For example. So instead of I did Okay, nobody kills you if you change. But we have to do it, because we have to dobrofy our uh, melody. As long as you stay in time, remember to keep the time, keep the beat. And another way to think, we begin like that for the moment, but the song is in D, okay? So you can also find your note here. Let's try with the rhythm. simple thing from the seventh, fifth, fourth and second. Okay. So <laughs> my little way to teach is not that I'm teaching, I'm just telling you the things that I know, okay, the things that I learned and my approach to it. The first thing that I want you to do is to, to listen with your ear and try to find the melody. So for example, Arkansas Traveler, let's see, this is another in D, but let's try in G, so we can think other things different. So how is Arkansas Traveler? Is okay in G. So it's already beautiful this. So I go to I go and search for Okay. Na 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 beginning. Na 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 So beautiful beginning. What do you think? Amazing. Ah. 
I want to try in G because I want to discover with you how we can reach the melody. And here we can find the same melody of the fiddle. <laughs> So if you try this lick, this is an exercise I, I can tell you to do if you want, is the, the, the ending of this part is begin with the fourth, fourth string open and fourth string fourth fret, then third open and then again fourth on the fourth fret. So it's okay, these are the, the beginning, and then we move when there is this beautiful pull off, four string, second fret. So our C note here, so the, the fifth uh, string first fret and to ending fifth string again pull off the fourth string second fret and open 5 and 6. And other things, for example, here are using the B, the second string open. Here, you can slide if you want, that is very nice. That's why I love this song. In G, it's, it's perfect in D, but also in G, try in G because it's beautiful. Okay, we can do ours instead of instead of the open. That is nice anyway. Okay, just wanted to 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 tell you you have this option. Castle Traveler second part is not so easy but again we can go around it so let's try the second part I'll show you a very fast way First open, uh, second string, first fret, pull off, again first open, again first fret, second string, pull off, second string, third, second fret, third string, so. This is the confusing stuff because we you, you do uh, sorry you go uh, always in the same place but it in the string in a different way but it's very useful uh, exercise so okay show you before so what we can do instead of this to have fun and play together with your friend this beautiful song instead of do okay instead of do all the note you can do part of that or only a few of them for example that is Let me try with the rhythm track, maybe I can understand better and play something easy to explain you what I wanted to say.
played here first, first second string first uh, first flat to the third <laughs> It's not yet to do. We have our 12th fret, the G chord. So the second part could be. If you if you listen the melody and you find you try yourself some stuff, try to go fifth to seven eleven where you go where uh, where you like sorry, and um, you will find a different way also to close instead of. Now I did instead of. I use the the octave note, the free string we have here, six, five, and, and four are the same of three to one. So uh, the little before and ended with, so you can repeat it in the first free string. So is. Instead of doing all the notes, try to find a few notes that looks alike, okay? So you can have fun anyway. Another thing, for example, the beginning, where we can find substitute of this. Try. No. No. Okay, but this that is our G, we have our G here, second string, eighth fret. So maybe it begins to uh, remember this position. So so in the I regist register you can play So with G note we have in our uh, second street 8th fret So remember this position And then if you check this stuff And you want to play here You begin with your G note here and then discover the rest, that is, now I tell you. I just played, if you, if you see, I played the, you remember, if you saw my lesson, is the, I think is the sixth lesson, but I told you about the five. So everything you play, and uh, in G position, remember, you can, uh, on your fretboard, you can go here to find some note, to find some uh, something for your solo. It works, so you can begin. For example, all Arkansas Traveler is here in this five that I told you before, from between the seven and the ninth fret. All the beginning, using this five position, sorry, non position, but five, uh, uh, if, you, if you can see this five on your fretboard, you can play the beginning. <laughs> Also, going farther on, I do it all this exactly the five. Then 
then change. <laughs> you can try this one that is not so difficult again because we are fourth fret fifth fret second fret is the only question uh, matter of remember you can also slide like that like okay so I just wanted to, to show you a couple of tips like that, just to, uh, to keep in mind that you can uh, find yourself and uh, even in, in, a, in a difficult or kind of difficult song, like are some fiddle tune. I hope these couple of tips, not too many I give you, help you about fiddle tune and uh, I see you next week. Uh, leave a comment if you like or if you don't like this thing that I'm telling you. If, if you didn't subscribe, remember to subscribe so you help me. I'm doing it for free, so see you next week. Hope to find some uh, nice things and fun things to do for you. Okay, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, keep playing.